Peace. Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and welcome back to AL. Now, if you're new to this channel, please consider going down below and subscribing. That'll be great if you haven't done so already. Uh, today I'm going to be re-reviewing this amplifier module that I received uh, late last year. It was around about December, I think. And I didn't actually do a sound test on it because it looked like absolute garbage on an oscilloscope screen. But I thought, well, even though it looks garbage on an oscilloscope screen, it doesn't mean to say it can sound bad, right? Well, not necessarily. So I'll put a link to the other video up here. The issue with this is that there's ringing on the signal. Um, it's just basically uh, leftover switching artifacts from the uh, Class D output stage. Because this is a Class D amplifier, it works on pulse width modulation. And it's then converted back into uh, analog sound using, well, a low pass filter to remove the switching noise. Now, the thing is, the way that this is designed, the inductors especially, are really not rated for the job. They don't filter it correctly. So there's ringing artifacts on the actual signal and it looks like absolute garbage on an oscilloscope screen. However, it doesn't mean to say it would sound bad, but this is what I'm going to find out, what it actually sounds like driving a pair of speakers. Uh, it also has a subwoofer output as well, so I might connect another speaker up to this output just to, you know, give it some bass. And uh, yeah, then I'll do a final review on it, but I think I paid $25 or something for this. But anyway, let me get uh, some speakers set up and a sound source, etc. And we'll just check it out. <coughs> All right, got everything set up. Got a couple of stereo speakers there that I don't care about. I got that big speaker on the floor there acting as a subwoofer. Uh, I got my phone connected as an input and I'm going to be using the bench top supply. This runs on 12 to 24 volts, this amplifier module. So I'm going to set it about 4.6. I'll turn the power supply on. A little do do do. And uh, there's no unusual current draw. So let me play a track.
It actually doesn't sound too bad, to be honest. Um, and I can only just hear a slight hiss coming out the speaker. There's nothing like noise-wise as to what I'm seeing on the oscilloscope screen. So, yeah, just because it looks crap on the oscilloscope screen with all that after ringing, um, it sounds fine. But it, it does mean that the output filter coils, or output filter, really needs to be redesigned on this thing. But and it's quite amazing that, that, that it's producing quite a loud amount of power out of a little tiny, you know, SOT chip. Uh, anyway, I think uh, that's about all I'm going to do. Uh, currently at idle, we've got 200 MA or so being drawn. Um, yeah, so it's, it's idle current is pretty high. But it didn't get up any, anywhere until about 400 milliamps or so when it was really driving the speakers, which is okay. Uh, when I was testing it to a dummy load into distortion, it was drawing no more than about an amp. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied that it, apart from that turn off pop, I'm pretty satisfied that it works okay for what it is. Um, yeah, so. Well, at least we've now heard what it sounds like. So it may look like crap on a little soap screen, but it sounds perfectly fine. So I'm going to put it away for another year and then look at it again later. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do today. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to go down below, comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And this is the Astro 30 saying, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.